when people's belief systems are shattered, they freak out, they lose it. And we're about to see that happen on a large scale in America as the radical left, you know, the America hating delusional leftists who think that there are 97 genders or whatever, Mm -hmm. Uh, their world, which is a complete delusion, their entire world is fabricated. It's a shared hallucination among themselves. Uh, Their world is about to just get fractured into a billion little pieces. Because what's going to happen this year is William Barr, the attorney general, is going to level criminal indictments against deep state operatives, including James Comey, probably John Brennan, and many others, and most likely including Peter Strzok and a few others. They're going to be criminally indicted for taking part in a conspiratorial plot to overthrow the 2016 election and to overthrow the office of the presidency of the United States of America. These are acts of sedition or even treason if you consider the fact that we are in a kind of war. Uh, Nevertheless, they're gonna be criminal indictments, fraud uh, probably involving uh, the fraudulent misrepresentation of material facts to the FISA court, for example. That's going to happen, possibly obstruction of justice, possibly witness tampering, corruption, uh, all these things. There are gonna be a lot of criminal charges laid down. now. When that happens, the radical left, some people will continue to live in a state of denial. They will say, no, James Comey is a hero and that he's being unfairly targeted by a vindictive Trump that's trying to destroy his political enemies. James Comey is innocent. So there will always be those on the left who can, of course, uh, try to deny reality. But the left wing media is going to have to make a choice very soon. That's the New York Times, Washington Post, and so on. The left-wing media is either going to have to fess up to reality and start covering the documents and the the criminal charges, the the leaked information, the declassified memos and and so forth that are going to come out. They're either going to have to cover that or they're going to have to basically surrender any last iota of credibility they, they might still have. In other words, the media is going to have to change his tune and get on board with reality, or they will be annihilated because they will have negative credibility. I mean, who's going to believe the New York Times if the New York Times just denies the blatant reality of deep state operatives caught in leaks and FISA court fraud and all these other things that are going to become readily apparent to everyone once the declassified documents are fully released, and they will be released. Remember, President Trump has already issued an executive order granting AG William Barr full permission to decide what to release and to release all those related documents after some redactions are are made involving uh, protecting probably British spy sources, which I think is a mistake, by the way. I think you should expose the British spies (laughs) as far as I'm concerned. Nevertheless, this is all going to come out. And so One by one, media operations on the left will either have to commit credibility suicide or they'll have to come around and start reporting the truth. When this happens, your typical leftist is going to have their world rocked. It's going to be shattered. Now, what happens to a leftist when their world is shattered? Well, first of all, they want to ban your voice, right? So they just engage in censorship. They don't want to hear anything that contradicts their delusional fairy tale Alice in Wonderland story. So they will try to censor, but they can't censor the New York Times and their indications that the New York Times is going to try to get on top of this and shift gears and actually report all these criminal operations, by the way. And you cannot, you can't deny this forever. So some people on the left will have to face the reality that, guess what? Uh, They were wrong all these years and they were part of a mass hallucination. They were complicit in a criminal conspiracy that the leftists will have to admit they were fooled. They were tricked. They were part of this. Again, I, you know, mass delusion or mass hallucination is the best term for this. Half the country was hypnotized, brainwashed into believing something that's utterly false. The idea that the Russians stole the election for Donald Trump in 2016. Completely false. Not a shred of evidence to support it. 
But the left wing media with a bunch of illegal leaks from James Comey and, and others, they were able to spin this tale, a tall tale, to convince 40 something percent of Americans that the Russians somehow hacked the election and stole it, even though none of these people can explain to you their own theory of how that might have happened. If you ask a left wing person, how did the Russians alter votes? They can't explain to you how. They don't even know. They don't even have a mental model of how this could have happened. And yet they believe it. Totally irrational. But this is what happens when you brainwash people. And this is what the left wing media has done. But my point here is that when these leftists see their world shattered, they're going to become psychologically very dangerous. Some of them will act out uh, in violence. Some of them will commit suicide. Uh, almost all of them will begin screaming and blaming the people who were correct all along. So you're going to see renewed attacks on Trump and Trump supporters and military veterans and so on and Christians, you know, you know the drill. So leftists, they have not yet reached a point where they're willing to sit down and tell themselves that they were wrong. They have not reached a point where they can reconcile with reality. They have not reached a point where they can say that they were hoodwinked. And that's difficult for anybody to do, especially if you've been part of a mass hallucination that has ensnared the, the mind of, you know, of an entire nation, essentially, for, for three years, essentially. I, you know, th this is something that's very difficult for people to snap out of. But this is like the Salem witch trials. And the Salem witch trials went on for a long time because they were very popular and it was a shared delusion. And people got socially reinforced by believing in the witch trials and the witches and so on. And so, you know, contradicting the, the social fabric of your community is very difficult. And that's why most leftists, they've been virtue signaling this entire time, you know, getting acting gigs in Hollywood by making sure they publicly denounce Trump, for example, you know, in order to get an acting job, you have to hate Trump and you have to hate white people. Actually, you have to hate yourself if you're white. So you have to, you have to announce that you're ashamed to have been born white. You know, that's how you get an acting gig now in Hollywood. But all these people are going to have their world so rocked, their psyche fractured to the point where some of these leftists, and I'm not even joking, they may split into multiple personalities. We may be dealing with multiple personality disorder among a huge number of leftists where they still have this one personality that believes that the Russians stole the election. And then it's, it fractures into this other personality that decides to live in reality, where they accept the fact that actually James Comey was a traitor and Barack Obama masterminded the whole thing. But these two personalities will phase in and out depending on the circumstances. So you might be talking to a leftist. In one moment, they're a reasonable, rational person who understands reality. And then in the next moment, they're screaming at you about how all white people have to be murdered and all children have to be killed. And uh, Trump is a, a Russian agent and, uh, you know, Satanism, they, they want to worship it and all this stuff. You're going to see actual schizophrenia slash multiple personality disorders. You're going to see a, a psychological fracturing that you have never witnessed before in your life when all this comes out. The reason I'm mentioning all this is just to give you a warning, just a heads up. Leftists are mentally ill. In fact, liberalism is a mental illness. But when it's a shared mass mental illness, it becomes exceedingly dangerous because those who are engaged in this mental illness become socially reinforced by confirming the key pillars of the delusion. And when that delusion is shattered, their entire world is ripped away from them, both uh, psychically as well as socially. And when that happens, these people, some of them, you know, just, they lose it. They'll, they'll be leaping off tall buildings or grabbing guns and shooting up crowds of people if they can, whatever. They're going to they're gonna act out in extremely violent, unstable ways. And then, of course, they'll blame Trump for all the mass shootings. But it's actually left-wing lunatics losing their minds and lashing out at society and probably trying to commit suicide in the process. That's what's coming. It's going to be astonishing. So 
be prepared for all of this. I'm trying to help you get ready for what's coming. Keep watching my podcasts and videos at brighteon.com, and you can listen to my podcast there as well. Read my website, naturalnews.com or newstarget.com, and there's a lot more a lot more coming. I've also got one website called mental.news, mental.news that covers mental health. You might find that kind of interesting, so check it out. Thanks for listening and share this everywhere. Take care. Most of the vitamin C available on the market today is made from genetically modified corn. If you want non-GMO vitamin C, get it from the Health Ranger store. We are certified non-GMO, lab tested for heavy metals, glyphosate, microbiology, and a lot more. Check out our non-GMO vitamin C at healthrangerstore.com. Thank you for watching. If you want to support our mission, visit us at healthrangerstore.com for the world's largest selection of lab verified superfood and nutritional products for healthy living. It's at healthrangerstore.com.